And good day to everyone. Thank goodness the weekend is upon us. It was a very hot work week for myself. Uh, not to scare anybody or anything, but I was almost overcome by it myself in the shop where I work. Very hot inside. Uh, one day it was like 105, and it went down to about 102. And I believe last night it was 101. We have fans and everything, but there was no uh, cooling, so to speak, like central heat and air. So that's why I always mention if you're out in the heat, drink plenty, take breaks, try to protect yourself. I was, but still, it just kind of got to me. Uh, yesterday wasn't quite as bad. There's a lot of interesting articles that I've seen. Uh, you can get them from multiple sources. This particular one, we won't read through and I'll just speak about each, uh, was an article about China and the forced abortion uh, that they they have over there. Uh, the very, you know, as most people know, but maybe some people don't pay attention, very repressive communistic uh, country to live in. Lots of goods, trade, come from China. You know, you can't hardly find anything that's made over here anymore. That's part of our economic problem. We've been sold out. Uh, a lot of people blame Daddy Bush, and Daddy Bush is to blame. But we had a way out after Daddy Bush was out of office when Mr. Clinton came in. And a lot of people think it was Bush that signed it. But I think if you look it up, you'll find that it was big Mr. Bill Clinton that signed the uh, NAFTA and GATT. Bush laid the found, uh, framework, and everything was all drawn up and left there. And Bill took his left hand and swiped his signature upon him and enacted them, which shipped uh, much of our jobs, you know, away. And now we reap years down the line, counting everything else that caused it, a uh, lack of jobs for everyone. Uh, I believe Obama has mentioned at some points uh, that would need to be, those agreements would need to be revised. Uh, but you can pretty well, you know, 99% of what he says he does opposite, so it's just basically a lie. Just like we're now seeing all the stuff all over the news, in print, all over the internet. You can see the videos, you can hear it out of his own mouth. It's not a lie. Uh, he did say no taxes would go up, and the Supreme Court did rule that it was a tax. And we got jacked. So, the man told everyone he wouldn't raise the taxes, not one dime, not one penny, blah, blah, blah. And then you can see, yes, he did. Uh, and I still stick by my guns. He is a liar. He does want uh, nothing against Europe, you know, and the people. It's the uh, way the governments run the Europe. And he does want us to be like that, because to be like that is to be joined even more so than we already are. And this fits right into the New World Order government, New World Order economy, uh, U.S. joining with the military might and everything. It all fits like a piece of a puzzle. But back to this photo. Uh, this is an article which is, describes uh, the forced abortions, uh, how they will only limit your amount of children that you can have. And uh, children are a blessing bestowed to people by God. Not everybody can have a child. And lots of people say, well, that's because uh, genetically there's something wrong with this man, there's something wrong with this woman. But, uh, then that can be so. 
Uh, and then we would we could get into another long story about genetics, backwards, 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 to the ancestors of how did the genetics get messed up. And I've spoke on that before. We won't get into that right now. Uh, but when he blesses you with a child, it doesn't matter if your genetics not allow you to have it. If God wants you to have that child, he'll make it so. So, when you think about China, mainstream media, uh, government officials, the president himself, they don't never put the communist part before the name anymore, do they? 99.9% .9 of broadcasts and news articles and stuff that uh, you will find maybe a hundred percent but I'll give them that little tiny little percentile they just don't refer to them as communists anymore it's like they don't want you to to remember that they are because you're buying so much stuff from them uh, maybe it would unlock something in yourself that you would search harder to try and find something that they didn't make uh, you know it could be from Taiwan or Singapore or something like that um, and maybe those aren't the sweetest places to get goods from either but always remember the, the, the people of the nation are not always like the government some of them are forced and some of them are indoctrinated from the time they're born to be supportive of that nation. And that would be like Iranians too. Uh, they're, they're born into it. Uh, they teach their kids uh, a lot of teaching of kids and stuff. Who, who to hate, you know, who to grow up hating and whatnot. And then when they become adults, some use their own minds to figure things out and realize they've been hosed uh, and understand some just cling to it and continue but it is a sad thing that you could be limited on the amount of children that you can have uh, in the name of uh, population control we're going to move on to the next one There was an, there's many articles on this too and this is a recent one and you can see underneath the headline, Clinton fails to sway her counterpart on the global role in ending the conflict in Syria. Now, <clears throat> I believe the article read that the Russians are not in agreement because they, they support uh, they support Assad actually. Uh, they claim they would like to find a solution, but they don't agree with the solution that he should be globally forced out. So, we're talking about, like I've said before, a family that has ruled a country for many years. Now, when we're over here and we have these supposed free elections and everything, and we change every, the longest we can go is eight years right now. And if you think about it, it's kind of sort of like, uh, it's getting sort of like um, a monarchy over here, or maybe the way, you know, Egypt and Syria was with their leaders for so long, because you, what are we seeing? If, if Obama wins, that'll be eight years in a row, and his predecessor had eight years in a row, and his predecessor had eight years in a row Clinton, Bush, now Obama so we and we would see three presidents that ruled for a total of 24 years you know a quarter of a century and we had three so what what the deal is is you're still gonna see more fighting and uh, you know when you think about what the Bible said about Damascus being leveled maybe you get a picture in your mind of uh, 
a big bomb drop and it just blows everything to crap. But it doesn't have to be that way. To level something, you can just have like fighting like they've got now. You know, you can have like small shelling, and, or I can't say small because it's killing people, but you know what I'm saying. You can have smaller shellings that destroy the buildings and whatnot, and then they're just a crumple of concrete and twisted metal and everything laying on the ground. You know, houses toward crap, just pulverized. So you can consider what's going on now, uh, whether it remains to be seen, if this is the, the biblical destruction of it or not. The Damascus is, uh, you know, sections of it are being uh, leveled, and people's lives are being lost. Um, so we see yet another uh, fail from Miss Clinton. But this could all be uh, per show, actually. It really could be, you know, trying to say we're trying to work out an agreement and stuff, blah, blah, blah. Because things can be what they don't appear to be on the outside. So, I'm going to see where we go on this still. Right now it's going to continue the way it was, the way it is, and it'll end up being the way it will be according to the Lord. And it's all going to work towards the end of the fulfillment. And there's also something that we should be aware of, I don't know if anybody's looked at this and seen it, but apparently um, there are going to be a lot of computers that are going to be, well, shut down and unable to get onto the internet um, because of a virus. And there it says right in here, the DNSC changer, DNS changer Trojan. And if, you know, I think a few months back they published some stuff about that. And they waited until supposedly July the 9th. And then upon July the 9th, supposedly, all these computers that supposedly still have this virus in it, Trojan, uh, they're not going to let them be able to connect to the internet anymore because it's supposedly infected. And they have some, uh, advice on what to do and that would be you know get some virus protection run your scans uh, see if you can pick it up and whatnot and then if you click that link it takes you over to a whole uh, list of uh, different virus protections that you can purchase to cleanse your system so I'm not really totally sure exactly why they're taking these off, uh, but be aware that the, that the, the figure was in the <clears throat> hundreds of thousands, if not more, of computers. Now I've, I have good virus protection, what I consider. And I do run two firewalls. Uh, some people say, well, let's, you only need one, it'll cause conflicts, but uh, my Windows firewall has not conflicted with my virus firewall, uh, my virus protection firewall, and I have no issues with it. Um, I did have Adaware. You can, you know, you can get uh, Lavasoft.com free Adaware or pay Adaware, whichever you ch uh, would choose. But I have so many uh, uh, programs that I use and some constant updating and uh, things running that I did notice that the Adaware kind of slowed down my performance. So uh, if you don't have that many programs running constantly and whatnot, the Adaware does help because before I before I started doing a lot more than what I'm a lot 
more now compared to what I did before, uh, the adware did not conflict. So it caused me to lag a little bit in the uh, page load up and whatnot. And so I went ahead and took my adware out and just went back to my straight virus protection. But uh, there is a supposed link and you click on it and it will run your computer and if you have this here green background then supposedly you don't have it but then it goes on to say that even though the background is green you could still possibly have it but um, be aware that on July the 9th you know there gonna be some computers and some people that's not gonna be able to get on the internet and whether this is really real related to that Trojan or not, or whether they're just jacking around and controlling the internet and kicking people off. Well, I'm not sure exactly what you could do if they did kick you off. You know, they claim that you had the Trojan and you'd have to get rid of it. I'm not sure if that meant you have to reformat your machine or what, but you'd have to do something to be able to get back on the internet. And there is another one that I was reading up on. It is about the God particle. And they've done quite a bit of stuff. Uh, each, uh, each guy doing his work is supposedly not letting his findings be known to the other uh, so many scientists. And then when they get their findings, then they're all going to compare to make sure that uh, each one, you know, hadn't tainted the other by giving them uh, an idea or whatever you would think. <clears throat> now, they, 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 they say they may not make a full statement that they have found the God particle yet. That if, if this works out, it would be relatively sure, but the way it read, and the way they're trying to word it, is they want to make sure that they found it and haven't found a, a different thing that is like the, the twin of it, but not it. Something that's identical to it or almost nearly identical to it but not actually it. So I think it'll be, it's probably going to be maybe, like they said, um, a little while before they come and and say, yep, we found it. Uh, but they sure want it. They definitely want to know how things work. And I'm not sure where we would go if they did find out how things work and how things are put together. It uh, kind of sounds like some dangerous territory to me. But you can find these. Uh, these are recent. And, uh, you know, just search God Particle, Higgs Boston. Uh, you can definitely find this searching US, Russia, Syria, you know, you can find things and you can see these titles, you can search these and find these too. And then I don't really don't have enough I'd have to do oh boy I'd have to do a whole lot of videos, it would take a whole lot of time to completely uh, explain this, uh, the alien agenda and, and things like that, but uh, the closest thing I can say is that from everything I know and all the things I've looked at and all the years of thought and the testimonies of people, if you believe in God and Christ and the Bible 
And if you believe these testimonies of people that have had near-death experiences but not died, not fully died, meaning they came back from their death experience, I haven't found none of them that ever said, maybe you guys have somewhere, but I haven't, that ever said when they saw heaven and if, if they saw their relatives or other people there or saints or angels and Jesus and stuff, I've not heard none of them ever say they saw anything there that, that wasn't us. You know, saints and Jesus and God, that would be something you would expect. But as far as who else is there, I've never heard anything like there's a gray or a green or a this or a that. I don't, I've just never heard anybody describe that. So if any of you have ever heard of a near-death experience to where people have described, yeah, well, there was a gray alien there, or, you know what I'm talking about, then let me know. Uh, and I've said it before, and I, I think I'll continue on it. These things are masters of disguise. And when you go back and read, uh, if you go to YouTube, his site is Endeavor Freedom, Zen Garcia. I've pumped him before. I think he's a, a actually I'm going to pump him way up. I think he's a brilliant guy. I think the Lord has touched his insight. And he, he, he takes more time to, to make these videos. He makes, you know, hour, two hour long ones and stuff. And he researches this stuff, and he really knows a, a super ton of it. And he can describe it like the back of his hand. And when, like I was saying, he has a deeper, more in-depth video of, of, like, Thoth, the Emerald Tablets of Thoth. Now, they may not be biblical or anything, but the fact, or the point is, that there are portions in there in which way back then it's described that you you can see behind the veil but it takes a, a certain way I believe it was sound or you know, frequency something to do with that is how they can uh, chameleonize herself into looking like us or whatever they would like to look like. I'll go back through there, but I, I think it was a uh, sound. But it was it was definitely a, a type of frequency, I believe. And so we don't have anything to decipher. You know, call it cornball or whatever. But you, you remember the old? Uh, it was kind of a corny movie. I believe it had that ex pro wrestler Roddy Piper. And he had those special sunglasses he put on called, uh, I think it was called They Live. And, you know, you just walk around like normal and everybody looks like normal. But somehow he comes upon these glasses and he puts them on. And then all of a sudden he can see people that aren't people. You know, he takes them off. The guy looks like a person. He puts them on. He doesn't look like the same as us. Well, that, that makes you think about what was described in that portion in, in the Emerald Tablets of Thoth. But there's something that we, not all of us, there are people out there, you know, you see this stuff about, hey, I've seen a, this guy flashed and he was part reptilian and junk. Well, there are people out there that somehow they get a little, you know, a little snap as quick as that, you know, or something. And they see a person that looks different for uh, just a short period of time. And then they, you know, look at it closer and then it looks like a person again. Well, there is a way they cloak themselves and when they came in in uh, past times I'm not sure truly and honestly I'm not sure exactly what an angel looks like but I am sure they can come 
here and probably in order not to scare the crap out of us they can appear as us something that we can understand and not be afraid of now the bad guys you know they're well they were good at one time so they know how to do it they have the ability to do it so if they wanted to scare the crap out of you well they might maybe they don't look like us or like in this picture or anything you know of, of the different peoples and whatnot in there or the saints maybe they don't we're gonna find out at some point but lots of times they came as messengers delivering messages and so they had to come as uh, something where they wouldn't scare us and they would like fit in with the rest of us and, and maybe they didn't want to be noticed and stand out now the bad guys well maybe they don't want to be noticed and stand out yet so you look up in the air we see these weird things uh, we get these pictures from space you know this thing looks like a, sh a spaceship uh, Vermont or whatever you know we look at all the cave art we see the stuff now the technology of these guys these guys got technology I mean they know how to do things They're, they know the physics and stuff but God left out just enough to where they don't know everything that's why they can never win he didn't build them to know everything he built them to know a whole lot they may know the plan of start to finish but they don't there's some little things in there that they ain't got yet and they can only go so far with what they can do and what they know like uh, oh like if you thought they could read your mind I don't believe they can actually read your mind to know what you're thinking I believe they can they're into the numbers of everything the, the physics and the how and the laws of probabilities and such their, their intelligence is way more than ours so I think that given a certain situation that a human being is presented with they can know and understand the probability of how the people, the, the human, is going to react now you have a way out and that would be through God because he, he's the one that helped you resist the temptation <clears throat> so when they present temptations upon people they know the probability mathematically to the finite uh, whatever of how the person is going to react but they also know the person has can have a choice and the probability that, that this person is going to make the other choice so it is up to you and uh... Whoop. I shut that off it is up to you to use your will free will you don't have to fall into the probability of what they want it's easier to do the wrong thing than it is the right thing uh, and you know the much traveled road is is the wide one but most sometimes we get sucked into going down the wide road but it's a narrow one that takes the effort and the thinking to realize that's the one you need need to be on that's where we have to go so I don't know I keep hearing uh, I keep hearing some things about October event and the event supposedly in October is not really described now I can't find out too much I mean there's you know 
Al Jones has uh, some things on it, and some there's some different writings on it. It's uh, speculatory, uh, but uh, I'm not really sure what in the world that would actually be. If our military would actually spring up then and uh, try some stuff on us then. Time is what it is, and I'm not really sure October is far enough down the line. It is getting close to the end of the 2012, though. So it is a possibility. Now, if that were right, and that uh, I believe his name was Jim, the officer or whatever, if they did have ready air, you know, air and ground uh, forces, well, it's a pretty heavy thought there. Uh, so try to find out as much as you can about that. I'm still trying to. I don't know how successful I'll be getting any more than what I've already got. So if you can get more in depth, well, send me what you got, because I'd sure like to help put it out there with you and uh, keep us all informed. And that's uh, pretty well on what I've got right now that were the issues I wanted to bring forth at this point today. I have some things to do. I'm going to have to get out in the heat. Uh, but at least I'm not at work and I can stop whenever I really, really want to. And uh, take a break and come in and get under the air conditioner for a few minutes. It's not too much. I'm going to do a little bush trimming outside along my front porch and I should be able to zip them out and come in for a little while the Colorado is still a burning from what I understand hopefully that uh, situation will stop and they will gain foothold and control over this I, you know, I'm not used to seeing gigantor fires like that. You know, they've been in the recent years. We've seen huge fires and stuff, but still, when I when I see things like that, it just uh, it just blows my mind. <clears throat> so, y'all yeah, try to have a good weekend if you can. Um, I haven't heard nothing from you, my friend. Uh, I hope Mr. Fuzz has came back and been found. Uh, I hope everything is going as well as can be for you. I know how it hurts to lose a pet. We've discussed this and everybody's lost a pet before. Hopefully he's come home. So may the Lord bless you and keep you safe and strong and guide you in your thoughts and help your understanding so that your eyes will be open and you can put up a heavy fight against evil. We'll be looking up tonight whenever it cools off and the sun goes out. There was quite a quiet clearness where I was at all week long. Uh, no clouds shade really to speak of it all so you can see a lot of stuff at night it should be a good night to do that I'll talk to y'all real soon bye bye